Hey, Southside here, working on our beautiful, beloved LR3 Land Rover. It's an 05. This one uh, brought to you by the 4.0 liter V6. We're just going to let this run, just running it, letting it warm up after a massive rainstorm. We're going to check our valve covers. I've already looked at uh, <clears throat> uh, the passenger side. We're going to look at the driver's side. Normally I would say bank one driver, bank two passenger. That's another issue. That's why we're out here to determine that our number one cylinder on this vehicle is right here according to manuals videos there's a discrepancy which arises due to another video on a major channel that describes cylinder one is right here at the end of the video this was bank one so we need to change some coil packs and we don't want to change two packs and when we change the wrong ones, plain and simple, no baby. Do it yourselfers man, it's the way it is. I've done a lot of work on this rover and I'm proud of myself and everything I've done to it. Let this run here. Kind of get in the groove. We look for any potential oil leaking out the rear back end, I should say, of the driver's side valve cover. There is some residue there. Now I'll try and zoom in on this. We're on the driver's side. Boxes have been removed due to other sensor that I had to put in. I'll try and bring this in easy. A little gray looking doodad there. That's our clamp that's on the hoses to the PCB. It's been described as being on the back side of the motor. What's on the back side of the motor is the plug and I would highly recommend when you put in your new PCB valve go ahead and change that's supplied with the proper PCB valve. Can just go ahead and change it. 
valve cover gas with only the coil back. So that's where we're at. This is not a, not a big deal. that would mean two would be the other side, correct? So that's what our holdup is. We'll find out. Unless you were going to replace all your coil packs, and I'm not going to use the cheap generic ones. Forget that. Don't do that. Uh, we'll take a final look here. Those of you that don't know, Just a quick, as you know, we did the brakes on this Land Rover, and just so you do know that guy right here, 30 amp, pull him out, and it's your park and brake. Uh, that's actually supplies the voltage to the park and brake module. So when you're working on your park and brakes, just yank them out. It's the best way or you don't know if you're in service mode or not, pull that out. That's one of three different fuse areas on the vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna let them run a little bit when you get in there and get on that valve cover. Here's your EGR. Rover on. Got a couple other issues. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, there were found two generic sensors, O2 sensors known as fuel trim sensors after your catalytic converters. Both of those are coming out. And um, we're almost there. We're gonna go ahead and put the new wheels and tires on. And um, we're there. That's an update from the South Side Outpost here. Yeah, we love working on our own stuff. You know, it's how you do it. Hell, they're paid for, right? You gotta take care of them. J Blues B3 South Side. We are out of here on a beautiful Monday, I think. <laughs> hey, man, it's been a long weekend. A lot going on. And, uh, hey, Detroit Lions. Get on, down fire. We're out of here. Southside Channel. Peace and love, everybody. Bye.